Hello and welcome to a brand new series, Wickham Wonder Kids. So the idea of Wickham Wonder Kids is we take over as manager of Wickham Wanderers Football Club. We try and build on their already astonishing achievement of making it into the championship, get them up into the Premier League and challenge for that Premier League title and who knows, maybe even European glory. Our rules are very, very simple. We can only sign under 23 players. That's why it's the Wickham Wonder Kids. Do you know all about Wickham? I certainly didn't until I started reading Wikipedia. Founded in 1887, they entered the Southern League in 1896. They switched to the Great Western Suburban League in 1908. Wickham eventually found success under the management of Martin O'Neill, winning promotion into the Football League as Vauxhall Conference champions in 1992. They also lifted the FA Trophy in 1991 and 1993 and won the Conference League Cup, Conference Shield and Conference Charity Shield. The club secured promotion out of League Two under Gareth Ainsworth's stewardship in 2017-18, who then took the club to where we see them now, the Championship. For the first time in the club's history, with victory in the 2020 League One playoff final. So we've arrived here in Wickham. Can't wait to get started. First day, let's have a look at that squad. Oh, it's a new squad. Oh, let's see who our best player is. Daryl Hogan. Wait a minute. Is this our best player? Must be some kind of mistake. Oh, well, I suppose he's got acceleration and pace, both 15, that's good. He's got flair, 15, so it's not too bad. So maybe it's not too bad. Maybe there's something we can do in the transfer market just to beef this up a little bit. Let's have a little look at the finances. Maybe there's something we can do in... Uh-oh. Looks like this is gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, so we've managed to do a bit of business um, that has freed up a little bit of cash for us to make some moves, do some wheeling, do some dealing. We can only sign players 23 or under. The goalkeeper's on his way. I mean, that was a bit of a mistake probably on our part, but we'll we'll deal with that when it comes to it. I mean, he's, he's leaving in January. A couple of guys leaving at the end of their contract there. But the big ones really are the guys we got gone for free. <laughs> It's given us a massive 172,000 pounds to spend, even though our wage budget is right on the red line, 63,000 pound in total. We've gone on holiday for a few days just to let the assistant get on with his work, try and sell those players for us. He's managed to get rid of a few. Maybe it wasn't the correct decision to get rid of David Wheeler, but he didn't quite fit into the team the squad the way I want it. He hasn't got the pace, really, to be playing in that position where he wants to play. He's got decent attributes apart from that. So let's see the squad then, officially. Let me show you the team as it stands. So this is the way the team's lining up. We're gonna play with Alex Samuel, who's gonna play up front. Now what we like about Alex Samuel is his work rate, his stamina, his natural fitness, and his pace. So he's gonna play the pressing forward role for us up front. So that's Alex Samuel. On the left and right then we've got our best player, Daryl Hogan. He can use both feet. So he's actually quite good. He can use both feet. He's fast. He's our best player. He's a flair player. Okay. He's going to play on the wing for us, mainly on the right as an inside forward. Fred Odingma. On, onid, oni din, oni dinma. Fred Onidinma we've got then on the left. He's fast and he can dribble as well. He's only 23, so he's not too bad, to be fair. Fast and he can dribble. I mean, what more do you want from your wingers? In the middle three, then, we've just got some powerhouses that can tackle, that have got some stamina, that have got some work rate. So you've got Alex Patterson there, 
work rate, stamina, natural fitness, yeah? So you can tell we're gonna be playing the gig and press. Dominic Gape, okay, don't laugh. Don't laugh, we've got Dominic Gape in the midfield. Again, work great, a little bit of stamina, but natural fitness, a little bit of technique there as well from Gapo. Josh Knight, we've got on loan, I think, from Blackburn, on loan from Leicester, sorry. A little bit of defensive steel in that kind of Ndidi role there. Great determination, work great, great defensively. Check this guy out, Joe Jacobson, yeah? Never heard of him before. He's Welsh, never played for Wales, but he's got 14 under 21 caps. This guy could be a hero for us this season. Corner 17, free kick taken 17, penalty taken 18. A set piece specialist is very handy when you're in this kind of relegation fight. Jason McCarthy then, we've moved from his right back role into the centre back because we can see he's got the attributes for it and he can play out from the back as well because he can play with the ball a little bit. So he's naturally a right back, but we're going to train him as centre back. Jack Grimmer then goes into right back by default. He's not really fast enough, but he's got some natural fitness and stamina. Do you know what I mean? He's almost he's an almost man. If he had pace, he'd be good, but he hasn't got pace, so he's not very good. Ryan Allsop then, the goalkeeper who um, is okay, but he wants to leave. He has signed the contract, so we'll keep him until January and then we'll replace him. We do have David Stockdale, who's a veteran goalkeeper. He used to play for Fulham. I remember him from his days in Fulham. So he can come in, step in and do a job. But he has 35 though. So that's the first team. Everyone else we really want to sell. But look at this. We've got Adebayo Ekinfenwa. What an absolute hero. He's really good on the radio. And that's about it. No, he's strong. Look how strong he is. He was 20 strength at the start of the game. That's gone down a little bit. He offers us something to throw on halfway through the game maybe. 38 year old. Crazy. The assistant has played three matches already and done really well. You can see we're fifth in the Sky Bet Championship already. Look at the schedule here. He bet Man City on the 23s in a 3 2 friendly. He's playing the tactics and the team that I wanted him to play with. So I've set that up. So you can see Samuel up front here. Odi, Oni, Oni Dinma. Oni Dinma. Freeman. So Darrell must have been injured or something. Patterson, Thompson, Knight. Jacobson on the left had an 8.3, so he probably did a couple of good set pieces or something like that. We lost our Carabao Cup first round, but we've won every game in the championship so far. So well done to my assistant, and my assistant has been employed by me, by the way. It's so the only signing I've made so far. He wouldn't accept an assistant job. He would only accept a coach role. Kevin Summerfield. So I had to sack my assistant, and he is my de facto assistant, if that makes any sense, because he's got the judging ability and judging potential. The board wouldn't let me hire um, another coach so I had to sack someone so I, I sacked my assistant Fred Oni, Oni Dinma Fred Oni Dinma I'm going to change his nickname I'm going to name Fred Oni Dinma after one of the patrons who I know is in the middle tier great guy always leaving comments etc interacting giving me advice and feedback so David your name is now in the game, sir. Pop me a message on Discord or on Patreon if you'd like to change it to David and your surname, but for now he's just gonna be David, okay? David, Alex Samuel, Daryl Holland. David's actually injured, sorry, Dave. Dennis Adeniran. Okay, Dennis Adeniran is coming on for David. He's on loan from Everton. He's got a little bit of pace about him. Kevin Summerfield can choose the subs. That's not a problem. We play our first game in charge of Wolverhampton One Kids. Hopefully, we're going to do our assistant proud and win. Keep our 100% win rate going in the league. The way the series is probably going to work, we'll play one or two games probably in one episode. We'll play a few games off air. The assistant will manage some of the team. And then we'll catch up then on each episode and how the assistant has got on. Play our two games and then again probably go on holiday unless I've got time to actually play the game myself which would be which would be the ideal scenario and then Kevin Summerfield can get a couple of days off so there's the team then Luton Town against Wickham Wanderers Joe Jacobson the captain the game is afoot Luton versus Wickham we're playing the 4-3-3 the Gagan press we've got the players to suit it I think we've got some work rate and we've got some stamina and that is the first goal of the game there. Wickham Wanderers score and it's 1-0. The new guy on loan from Everton, who I, whose name I cannot pronounce, has scored. 
Oh, but here come Luton and they score an equaliser. Oh dear, oh dear. One all here at the Luton Stadium. With 17 minutes gone then, 90% pass completion to Wickham. 59% possession. It's like watching Man City. 24 minutes gone and it's still 1-1 at the Luton Stadium. Also plays out to Stewart. They're playing out from the back. Oh dear, we lost the ball straight away. Oh, they've given it to Greenwood. That, that's not Mason Greenwood, is it? Sam Greenwood scores against Wickham to make it 2-1. Come on, lads. Do you know it's the boss's first game in charge? Grimmer to Gape loses the ball in the centre of the midfield. That's not the first time that's happened today. Oh, and a great save from Allsop, keeping us in the game. A couple of things we're going to have to look at here on the tactics, I think, on the tactical side of things. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so my head's not in the way. Oh, and how did he miss that chance? How did Luton miss that chance? It was an open goal. The goal was, forgive the pun, gaping. 45 minutes gone and it's 2-1 to Luton as we head into the half-time break. God, I hope my half-time team talk is up to the standards. I haven't done one of these in a few years. Oh, should I throw the water bottle? No, not in the first half-time. Far from pleased. Let the players know that it's not acceptable behaviour to be coming into the half-time Team talk 2-1 down. Sam Greenwood with a second goal for Luton. 2-1. Luton lead at home to Wickham Wonder Kids. It's the manager's first game in charge. They're dominating the possession. But they're just not dominating the only stat that matters. A set piece wasted there from Luton. Can Wickham play it out from the back this time without losing the ball in midfield? Oh, that was a great ball. Samuel, Hogan. Oh, Hogan at the keeper. Great save. Jacobson with the corner. Surely a good delivery, Jacobson. Wasn't too bad, I mean. Wasn't too bad a delivery, Jacob. God, the front three haven't had a good game. The middle three haven't had a good game either. Samuel is coming off for Ad Adebayo Akinfenwa. What can he bring to the team with 65 minutes left and he's on the pitch come on Arkin Fenworth has he got the legs to play that role number 20 there he is you can see him are they going to put the ball into him oh he's got the movement Arkin Fenworth with a go Arkin Fenworth with a go to bring it back to 2-1 to 2 all. they are dancing with jubilation in the away end the Wickham fans are going wild. Akin Fenwa, great movement, great head of great strength. Already the best player on the pitch by far. 7.3 out of 10. Let's make a change. Let's tell the boys to go a little bit more attacking. Okay, so we've changed the mentality to very attacking. 83 minutes left, 84 minutes gone, sorry, 85 minutes gone, 86 minutes gone. Is there another goal in this game for one of the teams? Goal kick from Luton. Picked up by Jackson. Also out to Hogan. Best player on the pitch. Gate picks it up to Hogan. What can he do? He wins a penalty. The penalty has been given in the 89th minute. Jacobson steps up surely. Number three. And it's saved. And it's saved. The Jacobson penalty is saved in the last minute of the game. The guy is meant to be a monster of penalty taken. Oh, it must have been a great save from the keeper there. 94 minutes gone, it's full time draw. Two all, Luton two, Wickham two. I'm going to tell the boys that that's not too bad, I think. There's much work to be done, lads. We will be training hard tomorrow. That was the team talk. Awaiting media reaction. God, the media must have had a field there. I hope that match was televised. Jacobson reveals won the kids' fury. <laughs> Wickham won the kids. Joe Jacobson has told how manager FM won the kids keeps the, kept the team locked in the dressing room following Wickham's 
Skybet Championship 2-2 draw with Luton. The experienced fullback revealed that one of the kids had been absolutely furious with the team's performance and had let them know in no uncertain terms just how unhappy he was. Okay, so let's wind down a little bit from that exciting game. We'll talk a little bit about transfers. I'll tell you guys my targets before we leave it there for episode one. Okay, so if you've been watching the videos lately, you will have seen this guy, Deji Satana, in one of the fastest players videos. So this guy in 2030 is an absolute beast in terms of speed. Anyway, he's fast and he can dribble. And he's not too far off it. He's 17 years old at the moment. He's Irish, playing over in Nice. We've made an offer for a loan with a future fee of, I think, 3 million. So this is someone with pace who can play on either of those wings, especially now with David injured. The other player we've gone for again is speed. So we've gone for physical. Look how fast this guy is. He's a centre-back playing at Blackburn. He's only 21, so we can learn, hopefully, these tackling, marking, heading, which aren't too bad, position in 10. I mean, they're not great, but if we're talking lower championship level, to have that kind of pace would be kind of next level. That's it, guys, for today. Thank you very much for watching. Episode 2 will be out, I think. What day is it today? It's Friday today. Episode 2 will be out on Wednesday. So I think it'll be Friday, Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday, these episodes. So thanks for watching. See you next time.